Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have to find the value of double integration by changing the order of integration. That means in the given integral, we had dx dy. That means the inner integration with respect to x, outer integration with respect to y. Okay, so by rotating a strip by 90 degree, we have to bring here inner integration with respect to y and outer integration with respect to x. That means instead of dx dy, we want dy dx. And after doing that, we will solve the double integration. Let us find the region of integration first. We have this integral, right? So the inner integration with respect to x. So obviously these are limits of x. So let me write x is equal to x is equal to outer integration with respect to y. So I suppose to write y is equal to y is equal to. So therefore the region is bounded by therefore region is bounded by let us consider all these equations one by one y is equal to one. We know that y is equal to one. It is equation of straight line which is parallel to x axis. Let me write here line parallel to x axis okay let me show it here a line parallel to x axis passes through y is equal to 1 so we will have line like this okay so this is our y is equal to 1 next y is equal to 9 so y is equal to 9 it is again a line parallel to x axis which passes through y is equal to 9 let us draw this line 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so we will have line here okay i'm drawing a line here y is equal to 9. Let us go further. We have y is equal to root x. So see, uh, let me write that thing here. We have a space. So y, uh, x is equal to root y. Sorry, x is equal to root y. That is y is equal to x square by taking square of both sides. So power of y is 1, power of x is 2. So it, it is a parabola symmetric about y axis since y has power 1 as well as y has a plus sign. So that means this parabola opens in the direction of positive y axis. So let me mention that thing a parabola parabola symmetric about symmetric about positive y axis. So let me draw rough sketch of this parabola. Okay, so parabola will be like this. I'm drawing parabola from here. Okay, so we have a parabola like this and uh, yes, I will draw a parabola. So it will be like this. So we have a parabola. Let me write that thing here. Y is equal to x square. So y is equal to x square. This parabola we have. This parabola cuts these two lines getting at four distinct points. This one, this one, this one, this one. Let us find a point of intersection. How to find point of intersection technique is very simple. We put one equation in second equation. If I put this equation y is equal to 1 here, we will have x square is equal to 1. That means x is equal to plus minus 1. So this point will be 1 comma uh, see 1 comma 1. See uh, this is on line. This point lies on this line y is equal to 1. So that's why its y coordinate is 1 obviously. x We have got values of x as plus 1 and minus 1. Here we will have plus 1. Here we will have minus 1. So this po point will be minus 1 comma 1 as well as this point also lies on this line y is equal to 9 so 101 percent its y coordinate is 9 for this point also its y coordinate is 9 we have to simply find x coordinate how to find a point of intersection we put one equation in second equation i will put y is equal to 9 here so we will have x square is equal to 9 so x is equal to plus minus 3 that means for this point we will have x is 3 for this point we will have x is equal to minus 3 in this way in a simple way we found out points of intersection all points of intersection we have got here let us go further one more core is remaining x is equal to 3 so you know that x is equal to 3 this is a line parallel to y axis parallel to y axis this is a line parallel to y axis which passes through x is equal to 3 here we have x is equal to 3 See, this point has x coordinate 3. That means this point also lies on the same line. Therefore, our given line passes through these two points. So, let me draw this line. Okay, so this is a rough sketch. Yes, so this is a line we have. What we have, x is equal to 3. So, that means the given region of integration bounded by this parabola, right? Bounded by this line, y is equal to 1. 
y is equal to 9 and this line also x is equal to 3. So the region bounded by these four curves. So that means this is our region of integration. Okay. So let me show it here. So this is region of integration. We have got a region of integration. Okay. So let us go further. After that, given integration. Okay. We had x dx here. That means inner integration with respect to x. So therefore, original strip is parallel to x axis, but we have to change the order of integration. So that's why we should consider a strip parallel to y axis and then we will find new limits and we will solve the double integration. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. See by rotating a strip by 90 degree, we have considered a strip parallel to y axis now, right? So now we suppose to write y varies from y to y varies from uh, y is equal to 2, y is equal to and x varies from x is equal to 2 x is equal to funda is very simple we consider bounded below bounded above left to right strip is bounded below by this line you can see in this diagram whose equation is y is equal to 1 so i should write 1 here strip is bounded above by a part of parabola whose equation is y is equal to x square so i should write y is equal to x square now we have to move strip from left to right see in left it should start at this point getting at this point so from this point, the region of integration will start where the value of x is 1, right? And strip will move like this and it will go up to this line and it will stop where the value of x is 3 since uh, equation of this line is x is equal to 3. So we have got limits. So let us consider integral now. i is equal to integration 1 to 3, integration 1 to x square, right? What is the function we have? e raised to x square minus 2x divided by x plus 1 okay and we should consider dy dx now since our strip is parallel to y axis now so the inner integration with respect to y let us solve this integration so when we integrate with respect to y we consider x and all functions of x be constant so that means this entire function will be constant so when we solve inner integral we should take it outside since it is a constant Okay, so let us do that thing here. So this is equal to integration 1 to 3 that uh, e raised to x square minus 2x upon what we have x plus 1 will come outside the integral getting. So in, inside the integration we have simply dy. Integration of dy is y. So I should write here y only with limits 1 to x square dx. So this is equal to integration 1 to 3 e raised to x square minus 2x divided by x plus 1. So you know that after that we put upper limit, we put lower limit. Let me do that thing. So if I put x square, x square, if I put 1, we will have minus 1 here dx. Okay, we are going to solve it further, but there is no more space to write. So make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. So let us solve it further. See, uh, I will write this integral, integration 1 to 3 e raised to x square minus 2x divided by x plus 1, right? See, x square minus 1. So, we are familiar with the formula a square minus b square. That formula I am going to use a plus b, a minus b. So, therefore, x square minus 1 can be expressed as x plus 1, x minus 1, dx, okay? So, what will happen that x plus 1, x plus 1 will get cancelled, okay? Let me remove this one. It is not required now. Okay, so let us go further. Yes, it is removed. So this is equal to integration 1 to 3. What we have x minus 1 e raised to x square minus 2x. See, we cannot solve this problem directly since we have product of two functions and the one function is so much complicated e raised to x square minus 2x. What will I do? I am going to use substitution. Okay, so see, I am going to put something and uh, okay, we will solve this integral. Putting. So what shall we put here? So that e raised to something, it, it is making this problem complicated. So I'm going to put that power as a t. Let us see what will happen. x square minus 2x is equal to t. When we put anything, we find derivative first. Let us find derivative of both sides. So it implies derivative of x square is 2x. Derivative of 2x is 2 only. Getting minus sign is already there. And we supposed to write dx. And derivative of t is 1, so dt. One thing we can do, we can take that 2 common, so implies 2 common x minus 1 dx is equal to dt. Fortunately, 
x minus 1 dx that bracket already we have that means simply we have to shift this 2 on that side getting so implies x minus 1 dx is equal to dt by 2 after finding derivative we will move towards that limits we will find new limits of integration let us find for original limits are x is equal to 1 and second lim upper limit is x is equal to 3 let us find new limits okay t is equal to t is equal to if i put x is equal to 1 what will happen 1 square 1 here 1 minus 2 1 minus 2 we will have minus 1 right if i put 3 3 square is 9 2 into 3 6 9 minus 6 3 so we have got the new limits minus 1 to 3 see let us go further now so i is equal to let me write new limits minus 1 to 3 correct e raised to t since we have called it as t x minus 1 dx we can replace it by dt by 2 now problem is very simple getting so that 1 by 2 is a constant as i told you earlier always we take constants outside so that 1 by 2 i am taking outside integration of e raised to t is e raised to t minus 1 to 3 so now simply we have to put upper limit lower limit right so this is equal to e raised to 3 minus e raised to minus 1 divided by 2 so this is required value of i okay so yeah example is over make a screenshot of it after that we will stop